day two of the vlog. It's, uh, I'm telling the truck here maybe, it's been raining a little bit. Um, and you walk outside and you can tell it's just gonna be a hot, muggy day. So, the house will probably be closed up, uh, especially with the rain, but I'm gonna go milk. Actually, I don't see Prudy right now. She must be waiting for me in the milking parlor. I'll see you guys later. One thing that changes, I'm um, cleaning her off. Now that um, I got the electric up for the pigs, is that while I'm milking, I don't want to leave it off. Because if I leave it off, the pigs at this time in the morning will probably end up trying to go through it. So, um, I'm going to, I turned it off when I came through here, and I'll turn it back on when uh, when I'm milking. So, let's change. This morning I got five gallons, here and here. You can see it's in the freezer and not the refrigerator. So, I'll just uh, go over the milking process quickly again. I milk in the morning, clean her off, uh, wash her off underneath her, uh, her udders and her teats, and then I milk into a five gallon milking can that uh, Simon was so graciously uh, sent me. After that, I come inside and I have a big dairy funnel that takes a paper dairy filter. It's kind of like a, a coffee filter on steroids. And it filters the milk just in case any hair or anything like that dropped in from, from her. And that goes, so I, I strain that into a pitcher pour from the pitcher into those half gallon jars. And then when I'm done, the half gallon jars come into the freezer for about two hours just to chill the, the milk faster. And then I put them in the fridge and they're ready to go. Um, and putting them in the freezer just helps them to get down to temperature faster and it helps the milk to last a little bit longer. So that's the only reason for doing that. What's up, dude, you wanna say hi? Hi. It's morning time, the sun's coming over the house. Uh, yeah, it's humid. Um, we're cl In fact, we're in the process of cl closing up the house now because um, Otherwise, it's going to get really sticky in the house. So we're going to close it up. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to close up the house for about four days. See you guys in a bit. I lied. The milking process isn't over. Got to wash the pitcher, the lid for the can, the filter. Uh, so here's the strainer with the filter inside of it, and then the can itself. I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you were wondering, I just use um, soapy, hot soapy dish water to clean it. Just hot soapy water. This one right here is the hardest you can see it just barely fits but it fits and we will get it washed and now I'm done so part of Cowboy's birthday present from his grandma and grandpa was um, he wanted to go fishing so they went to a uh, trout pond around Jackson Michigan so we just I can't see we just uh, fried this up just pan fried it in some oil seasoned it with some uh, salt and pepper and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and eat that like it? Yeah. Good. Watching great. I can't drink with this stuff. Woo! Well guys, I'm out here uh, grilling up some hot dogs. The brats are already done, the, or the hot dogs are already inside, the brats are done, 
and uh, just working on these burgers, which should be done in just a few minutes. So, had a great swim meet today. Um, it's a little bit warm, but life is good, so we're not gonna complain at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and comment down below. If you haven't already clicked on that thumbs up, go ahead and do it. And um, subscribe, join the Homestead Dad Facebook group. It's just the Homestead Dad group on Facebook. Uh, it's an awesome way to share ideas, pictures, what's going on around your place, what's going on around here that doesn't make it to videos and stuff like that. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Ta-ta for now.